we are going to start with our Women in STEM Leadership Collaborative Organization Awards. These are awards that we just really started in the last couple of years, uh, again, that were driven by student org leaders who said, let's figure out how to recognize our different student organizations for the work that they're doing, and had come up with some different categories for uh, recognizing organizations and their work each year. So we have three of those awards that we are going to be giving today. Uh, and I'll, I'll read a little bit from their nomination or why they were recognized for these awards. And we'll um, make sure we get some waves and some shout outs from the org leaders that are representing those organizations today. So first up is our Outreach Excellence Award, which recognizes one or more of our leadership collaborative organizations efforts to impact that pre-college, pre-K-12 community college or college, broader public, you name it, out there in the community advancing STEM interest, awareness, and learning. And this year, I'm excited that our 2021 WEP LC Outreach Excellence Award goes to women in mechanical engineering. WME figured out some innovative partnerships this year. They had an innovative partnership with Toy Prints and they've continued their virtual community outreach throughout this year. And, and it's incredibly noteworthy and, and really does ex exemplify that spirit of this Outreach Excellence Award. Some of the things that they did, they organized an information session for Toy Prints to engage with UT Austin students beyond WME, but also within the organization. And WME members converted over 20 hand drawings to CAD models that could be 3D printed with Toy Prints. And this is some of the, the um, drawings, hand drawings that come from kids that get turned into these 3D printed realities, which is pretty cool. And they also had WME members serve as role models in various virtual events and coordinating panels. Um, with the Girl Scouts and uh, of course participating in Girl Day. So again, congratulations to WME for really exemplifying that outreach excellence this year, especially in this crazy year um, of virtual outreach. WME folks, any words that you wanna share? Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Um, I know Aleka and I kind of got, got um, involved with Toy prints, but it definitely wouldn't have been possible without all the people who contributed their CAD drawings. I see Kendall here. I know she did a few. I may have missed uh, some other people that are here who contributed, but shout out to y'all. It really wouldn't have been possible without y'all. Awesome. Thank you. Yay, FWME. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, next up, we have our Community Advancement Award. This award recognizes our WEPLC organizations that demonstrate excellence in the fulfillment of their mission, support or advancement of the organization's membership and community, and contributes to the greater culture of inclusion and advancing justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion throughout the WEP community and across the Cockrell School and beyond. This year, we're excited to recognize the Association for Women in STEM and their efforts to expand leadership, mentorship, and community engagement across the entire women in STEM community across campus. Some highlights from AWIS this year is they paired over 100 students and postdocs with women in more advanced phases of their career. They have built a community with over 450 members across campus. And this year, they have leadership opportunities for about 35 women within the organization. So they're continuing to grow where students across campus, women in STEM students, can get those leadership skills and take part in the organization. So again, congrats to AWIS. AWIS is definitely most deserving of this uh, 2021 WEPLC Community Advancement Award. AWIS, is it, I see Sophia. Anyone from AWIS want to share? Hi, Trisha. I am really glad that I happened to hop in at the right moment. Aww. Thank you so much for the award. Um, we're really appreciative and excited to continue to, um, yeah, expand the community of women in STEM at UT and help continue to connect everybody. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you <Awesome>. so much. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Sophia. That was good timing to jump in. And then our last award is our Teamwork Excellence Award, which recognizes one or more of our organizations that foster cooperation and collaboration and open communications across our organizations and have been active throughout the women in STEM community. 
And this year, this award goes to SWE, the Society of Women Engineers. Yay, SWE. Um, so a, a couple of things that came from SWE's nomination that I just want to read. SWE always worked so hard to provide a welcoming community to young women in engineering. In order to have a welcoming environment, SWE collaborated with many other WebLC organizations to create unity within the engineering community. To illustrate and to highlight the talent of young women in engineering, UT SWE partnered with UCHU and WCAE for Living Rooms Got Talent, an online talent show. And then another nomination says, SWE joined forces with WCAE and BYS and other WebLC orgs to put together the Connect Her screenings of several women-focused and women-created films. SWE hosted the Girls in Tech screening and worked hard to engage the broader STEM community to see these important films featuring inspiring role models and stories advancing women and girls in tech. This effort was one of many this year where SWE inspired teamwork and collaboration across the WebLC organizations. Yay, SWE! Anyone from SWE want to chime in? Uh, yeah, um, thank you so much for um, the award. We really love working with all the other WebLCs. It's really great to, um, you know, have other ideas and other voices um, kind of contribute to our goals as well and, and help and we want to help all the other orgs achieve their goals so that's really great um, I hope we can continue like the collaborative events next year too and do more collaborative events um, yeah awesome and such a weird year to try to do collaborations and and still we were able to to see some of those pulled off and hopefully like you said Sarah more more to come as we all can come back together well awesome congratulations again to WME and AWIS and SWE for all of your outstanding efforts this year lots of our orgs did amazing things and we were thrilled to be able to recognize these three uh, for their outstanding work in such a weird virtual virtual year. Well, continuing on from those, we have our Women in STEM Leadership Collaborative Outstanding Organization Leader Award. So this is recognizing those individuals as outstanding leaders and officers who've been nominated for their efforts within their organizations. So I'm going to read who they all are and they can wave. And then after we've gone through who they all are, if any of you all um, care to share anything in the chat or, or unmute yourself, we'll give you the, the time to do that as well. So let me start with Yuchu. From Yuchu, we have two fabulous students being recognized. Um, as as it might, you might imagine, if they're with Yuchu, they're both chemical engineering students. We have Chelsea Tang and we have Rajvi Shaw. Elsie and Rajvi, yay. And from AWIS, we have Sophia Sanchez, who you heard from a little bit ago. She is a neuroscience grad student. From Ships and Uritas, we have Natalia Cantu. Yay, Natalia. And then we have from Wild, Alyssa Garza. And from SWE, we have Aisha Erdemir and Ruti Doble. And we have, let's see, Aisha is Kemi and Ruti is double E. I didn't say the majors of the other ones. Yay, congratulations. So they're, I'm not reading what their nominations have said, but all of their, um, you know, all of their nominations talked about their contributions to their organizations, talked about how they had contributed in some innovative and, and interesting ways this year to continue to build community, to lead the organizations and to help other members across the organization feel a part of this greater community and the community of the organization. So we know this was a tough year to be a student leader and you all were really shining examples of the amazing things that, that you are capable of and that all of our student leaders are capable of. Any words of wisdom or things that any of our outstanding WebLC org leaders want to share? Not really, I just wanna say thank you again and <laughs> looking forward to continuing to collaborate with everybody and um, yeah, <laughs> that's it. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you, Sophie. Okay. Well, we'll keep pressing on. I'm going to turn it over to Anna. Hey, y'all. Thanks so much for being here. I love seeing all your faces. Um, 
We uh, normally recognize, uh, as I mentioned earlier, many of these students at our uh, women in, uh, sorry, evening with industry banquet. Um, and so it's my pleasure to introduce uh, to you the WEP Rising Stars. The Rising Star Award recognizes outstanding first year engineering uh, undergraduate students. And uh, we have um, a number of students that were nominated and who are receiving the awards. Let me start with two um, that came uh, from specific project work. Um, and so Rifa Tasneem, who's a double E, worked with Project SWE. Um, and I'm not sure if Rifa's here. Can't see her on here, but, uh, and then Pavitra Kotecha, I think I got that right, uh, was working with WME and the ME Undergraduate Advisory Board. And both of those students did a tremendous amount of uh, things, particularly as new students, and um, in their orgs and representing their departments. So um, big, big um, congrats to those students for taking the initiative as first year students during a pandemic, probably working at home, um, all the things, right? Uh, so congratulations to them. The other students, uh, and many of them are here, um, were part of um, the WEP uh, Consolving Living Learning Community. Um, and they were nominated and selected for their work and their uh, contributions to that community. And so um, in no particular order, uh, Kendall Duggar, uh, who's Emmy, and I think she got a shout out earlier. Congratulations, Kendall. She's also involved with WME and is going to be a uh, living, a consolving living learning community peer coach next year. So congratulations, Kendall. Uh, Brianna Desai, who's at Electrical Engineering. Brianna, congratulations. Brianna and her team uh, had a, an amazing final project, um, and so big shout out to them for their work and their um, contributions. Brianna is an alternate uh, peer coach, uh, and so she is waiting in the wings uh, in case we need her, and so thank you, Brianna, for, for that. Uh, and uh, next we have Aaliyah Lemons. Aaliyah, yay, Aaliyah's a Kemi, uh, also in Living and Learning Community. You can see that Aaliyah and Brianna and Kendall actually are on campus. If you notice, that's Consolving in the background. So big shout out to Aaliyah for all of her work uh, and connecting into the community. Um, next we have Isabella Candonosa. I'm not sure if Isabella made it. Isabella is a BME student and um, was also uh, on campus part-time and did a lot of uh, work uh, connecting in, in her community um, as well. And then finally, Joki Gitao. Joki is also a BME. Where's Joki? I saw her. There she is, Joki. Joki um, also uh, did a, an amazing job uh, connecting with her, her peers and will also be a peer coach next year. So thank you all for everything. Anyone like to say a few words? I just want to say I'm very appreciative for the LLC and it helping me transition into UT. It played a big role in me meeting new people and just trying new things and testing my bounds. So I really appreciate it and meeting the girls in the LLC. Thank you for that. Awesome. Well, it has been a pleasure and I look so, I very much look forward to working with you all. Um, in just 106 days or so when we come back together. Not that I'm counting. Um, so great job, great work, y'all. Keep it up and we look forward to your continued involvement. Our next group of awardees are our Outstanding Mentor Award. Um, and this uh, recognizes outstanding WEP uh, pals, program assistants, coaches, camp mentors, and other peer mentors. And we have a, a slightly long list of uh, folks um, that are getting uh, recognized today for their work. So again, in no particular order, let me just give a shout out first to Sana Blasma, who's doubly Sana, or Sana. Sana was the um, PAL coordinator for uh, E. Uh, Sana also spent a lot of time helping us uh, create a Discord server for WEP. 
And I talked her, I talked her into yesterday staying on for the fall. So she's gonna stay, stick around and help us uh, expand the, the Discord uh, platform for us and, and train a new student to take that over. So thank you all. Thank you, Sana, for all of that. Next, we have Jackie Kelly. I'm not sure if Jackie's here. Shout out, Jackie. No, no. Jackie is the uh, mechanical engineering uh, PAL coordinator. She's done a million things with um, with WEP. Um, she helped with a lot of the WEP connects, and I don't even know what else. It seemed like Jackie was everywhere doing lots of things. So big shout out to Jackie for all of her work. Uh, rally in the troops and double in uh, ME. Um, she also helped with some Discord things, I believe. And so between the two of them, they, they got it, they got it going. Next is Zoel. Zoel Wong is aerospace. She's been serving as the aerospace and computational PAL coordinator. And Zoe's been around uh, doing uh, lots of things. He created a ton of videos um, and just really rallied when we were asking for help um, last year. Uh, Zoelle's been around doing things for WEP since she arrived on campus, um, and she's transitioning her role um, as she moves to uh, full-time employment, getting a co-op, 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 or internship? Uh, Part-time internship. Part-time internship, and she's also double majoring, so she's got a lot on her plate to finish out her last year, so way to go, Zoe. Thank you for everything. And next on our list is Jane Cloninger. Jane is a chemi who is a major rock star. She has, um, I think was a rising star. Yes, a rising star. She has been, uh, I think involved in every program that WEP has. Um, she was the RA for the learning community. She did the undergraduate research program. She's a, a program assistant, and I've talked her into being a program assistant next year, helping with the leadership collaboratives. So she is, uh, so leadership collaborative org, she is going to be your point of contact, helping us to stay organized on, on top of things. So Jane, you're just a rock star. Thanks for all that you've been doing. Um, so next on our list is Sitlali Ordaz. So Sitlali also has done just about everything with uh, WEP. Congrats, Sitlali. Sitlali um, not only stepped in and took the lead on uh, being our point of contact for the WEP recruitment phone calls. She has been a, a LLC peer coach, and I talked her into taking on a new role as a wise peer coach next year. Um, she and I and um, Asley are, are leading that team with another group uh, of students, and uh, we have no idea what we're doing, um, but I'm confident that we will, um, she can help us figure it out. So thank you, Sitlali, for everything. Uh, we also want to recognize Jazz Mitchell. Jazz is a BME student who um, uh, started in the learning community is a LLC peer coach and uh, is returning as a peer coach. She also has done just about everything with, uh, with WEP, including this past summer taking the lead on the uh, new student orientation uh, info sessions and um, office hours. And I think she's gonna be doing a little bit of that. I don't know if you're taking the full lead, but. She is going to be um, helping us get through the summer again, and she was super organized, had a whole, uh, had the whole thing organized. It, it required no thought on my part. So thank you, Jazz, for, for all of that and all that you're doing. And then we also want to recognize Nev Enloe, who's architectural. Nev, in addition to being a snickerdoodle lover of uh, Tiff Streets, Nev has um, also been uh, in the LLC and a peer coach and is um, super willing to jump in with the web connects and all of the things, the phone calls, the, just the million different things that we do. Um, so thank you, Nev, for, for all of your contributions to helping us um, keep it going. We also want to recognize Chelsea Tang. Chelsea, I don't think is here. Chelsea is a program assistant. You heard her name a little bit ago. Um, she's involved with YouTube. Um, she also has stepped up and um, joined the WEP team during COVID 
um, that she wrote a million postcards in addition to, I know many of you all did. Uh, she wrote many, many postcards. And um, she did all of this. Let me just, she's not here, but she did all of this with little, literally no family support. Her parents moved back to China and it's just her. And she's, uh, she was really isolated. So I'm so glad she found a community of support with uh, you two and with us. So congrats to Chelsea for that. And then um, I wanna also recognize Arian Vesey, who's a BME student. I don't know if Arian's here. Arian um, is, um, has been involved with WEP in the sense of being a PAL and also in um, the GLUE program. And then she's also been continuing her research and working with other undergraduate students and mentoring them with research. She's going on to graduate school to do a, a PhD in BME. And so we're very happy to recognize Arianne for all the things that she's been doing um, with WEP and in her department. And then lastly, um, our last um, outstanding mentor award goes to our um, social media guru, Pauline Ertz, who's the EVE student, Pauline is here. Pauline has totally taken over um, all things social media for WEP and has um, really, uh, taken a huge burden off of Trisha's plate for keeping us um, up to speed and communicating with the world. And she does tons of extra projects. So last week, she spent um, half of her day in the office counting t-shirts as we start to prepare for I was very happy to come in and um, all I had to do was bribe her with the sandwich. So it was awesome. And so thank you, Pauline, for all that you've done as a program assistant, a PAL coordinator, and, and all the other things. So thank you. So big shout out to our mentors. Um, obviously, we rely on you all uh, a lot for connecting with students, and we couldn't do it without you. So thank you. Thank you. Any words of wisdom? Anything uh, any of our mentors want to um, say? Just congrats to everyone for being amazing. <laughs> Agreed. Thank you. Thank you. And we couldn't have done it without the whole web community and all the members. It's been such an honor. Thank you for that. We feel the same way. We love you too, Jazz. All right, so our last group of awardees um, today are our Excellence Awards. And these uh, recognize outstanding graduating, undergraduate and graduate engineering women. And we have um, a small uh, uh, group today that we wanna recognize. The first on our list is Riley Robertson, who's an EVE student. Riley started in the uh, learning community. She was in a FIG. She's become a program assistant for WEP. She is responsible for creating the WEP events newsletter. Um, and she is happily passing that on to one of our new program assistants, Sarah, who's here. Sarah Dalby is gonna be taking over that. Riley is graduating and uh, has elected to stay at UT and pursue a master's degree in um, uh, in indoor, I think it's indoor air quality here at in the civil department. She's starting this summer, so she's going to be trans uh, transitioning very quickly to her new role as a graduate student. So she'll still be around, but um, in a different role. So congrats to Riley for all of her contributions. Next up is Lexi Stotler. Lexi is a civil engineering student. Lexi has been um, involved with WEP since day one. She is um, turning over the reins of her PAL coordinating duties um, and will be, um, she's done uh, just a, a ton of things. She recently shaved her head and um, for charity and has been training for the Texas 4000 and will be embarking on that journey this summer, um, which is quite an amazing feat. So we wish uh, Lexi all the best in her um, in her travels this summer and to whatever's next on her plate. Uh, so next up, we have Kaylin Stewart, who's a chemical engineering student. I'm not sure if Kaylin's here. Oh, there she is. She's just joining in. Hey, Kaylin. Kaylin has hey 
involved in a whole bunch of things and um, too many to list. Uh, she was a FIG mentor. She's um, involved with just about everything that WEP does. And so we are um, very sad to sad and happy to wish Kaylin congratulations as she transitions on to um, what she's going to tell us about here in just a minute. Um, I want to also recognize Juliet. Juliet, you know, I never have really learned how to pronounce your last name. Um, so you can tell us um, here in a minute. Juliet is a chemical engineering student. Um, she is graduating and moving to the fabulous city of Port Arthur to work for Halliburton. And uh, Juliet has been the PAL coordinator for chemical engineering students for two years, wrangling a large pile of PAL coordinators in chemi. There's a whole bunch. So she's had a big job. Um, so way to go, Juliet. We really appreciate all that you've been doing for WEP. Next up is Heidi Higginson. Heidi is a petroleum engineering student. Heidi is graduating in December and um, has been the PAL coordinator for the PGE group um, for at least two years. Is it maybe three now? I don't know. It's a long time, two. And um, she has been a PAL and she has been involved in so many things with WEP from day one. Um, and we just really appreciate all of her contributions to um, to PGE department, um, connecting the women. Uh, so, it, so many, so many things. Um, so Heidi, thank you so much. Next up is Ila Isabella Joseph. Isabella is chemical engineering student. She's involved with UCHU and she is really the reason why we're sitting here today. She really took uh, Trisha and I and just said, we have to do this and you all need to get it together. And so we really appreciate Isabella for um, you know, making us uh, do the things and um, not that it's work, but you know, it's just like one of those things that fell off the radar. And so we really um, want to recognize Isabella as a um, WEP staff member who um, came to our rescue and said, um, let us, let's do this. This is really important. Next up is Megan Perry. Megan is a chemical engineering student. She has been uh, the resident assistant in the living learning community and has a unique role. Uh, her and Jane uh, did that uh, same kind of job and um, worked together and uh, helped us with all the things that are on the floor um, and connecting those students that live there. So we're very appreciative for Megan and all of her work. And um, the last uh, award, or not the last, um, but one of the last is um, uh, Aleka Neptune. Aleka has been involved with WEP um, since day one. She is a mechanical engineering student. Um, she is president of WME. She was a program assistant. She has worked for Texas Invention Works. She has done just about everything that she could possibly do. Um, and is uh, graduating, and I hear maybe doing some teaching. Did I hear that right? Yeah, okay. Um, so we're going to um, have you all uh, go and, and um, maybe give us a, a quick uh, update on what you're doing. So we'll, um, Juliet, you want to you wanna start us off? Give us an, an update? Sure. So my last name is Ferdy Hurt, but it's not really important. No one knows how to pronounce it. I barely do, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, like you said, going to the exciting town of Port Arthur. Um, it'll be something. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I don't really know. It's been great working with WEP and excited to see what, what comes of the future. <laughs> Thanks, Juliet. We appreciate all that you've done. Big shoes to fill over there. Heidi. Hi, I have one semester left, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do after I graduate, but um, for the summer, I'm going to be shadowing a company in Midland for oil and gas, so that's going to hopefully lead to something. Not sure. We'll see. But I'm keeping my options open for everything after I graduate. But um, 
I'm super grateful for all the programs WEP has and for letting me be involved in everything. Thank you, Heidi. Isabella. Hey, um, I just wanna say firstly, thank you for hosting this. I know everyone's super busy, um, especially now. Um, in terms of future, I will be in Austin, um, which I'm very excited about. I'm gonna be working for Applied Materials. Um, so I'll be around at least in terms of location. Um, but yeah, thank you so much again. WEP has been a part of my college experience in freshman year, and I'm so glad WEP exists. Even before I actually decided on UT, I attended a few WEP events, so uh, I'm super grateful. Thank you, Isabella. We look forward to welcoming you back as an alum to all of the things since you're going to be in town. <laughs> Trisha's making a note of that. <laughs> uh, Megan. Yeah, so I will be moving to Chicago. I'm doing a leadership development rotational program with Ferrara Candy Company. So they make like Girl Scout cookies and trolleys. So I'll make sure to ship y'all some some fun candy care packages. <laughs> and yeah, just thank you all so much for letting me be one of the two RAs this year. Um, special shout out to Jane, she's amazing. Um, and it's just been great to get to know all the first year students. Um, y'all are the best. Thanks, Megan. We look, we will happily sample anything. You have a whole group of people that will give you, um, take your samples and give you feedback if you want it. So, or take your cast offs. You know, it doesn't have to look pretty. We, we will take damaged packaging. That's, that's all good. Um, Aleka. Hi. Um, yes, thank you. Um, and then I guess future plans. So like you said, I've, I guess I've always been interested in teaching. So I went ahead and got a teaching certification or I guess not officially yet. I'll be student teaching next fall. Um, so I'm not sure about full-time work. I think I'm planning on doing engineering first and then teaching later on. Um, and so I'll be interning with LCRA this summer and then student teaching next fall. That's exciting. Congratulations. Well, we look you. to <laughs> all of the things. Um, so we have one more award that um, is part of the Excellence Awards, um, but we're going to, we're, we're going to uh, announce that and then the big surprise that, that comes with that. So our last award, Excellence Awardee is Malini. Uh, Malini, where's Malini? Get it. Where's she on my screen? There you are. Hi, I'm here. Hi, Malini. So Malini's a mechanical engineering student. She also started um, from day one with um, with WEP. Uh, she was in my fig. Um, she was a rising star with Jane, as we, as I was reminded. She's been a program assistant, and this past year, she really um, jumped in with Trisha with Trisha more than me, but the three of us, um, mostly mo mostly Malini, helped uh, WEP to um, put together an assessment plan and walked through the, um, the process that we were going through, which is a lot of, um, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of data. She spent a lot of times, a lot of time looking at, at spreadsheets and trying to figure out what the heck we've been doing over these past years. So Malini has spent a tremendous amount of work um, getting us uh, to a place where we feel like things are sort of organized. Um, and um, she will be, um, I'm going to let her tell you what she's doing and then I'll come back. So Malini, congratulations for all the things that you've done to help us. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so fall, I will be starting a PhD program in engineering education at Virginia Tech, and I'm very excited to continue the engineering education work that I started in the web office and with the research I've been doing as well. So what Malini doesn't know, and um, it because it hasn't been announced, so this is, this is information that literally nobody knows. Um, she's going to find out tomorrow officially. Um, but Malini was nominated by our own Trisha Berry um, to, um, for a, a university-wide award. Um, it's, the, uh, it's an award done um, and from, uh, from the president, um, and it's um, the Student Employee of the Year. And so from all students employed on campus, Malini was selected as the student employee of the year at UT. So Malini, congratulations. It's a huge honor. 
Um, it comes with a cash prize that you're going to learn about tomorrow. Um, and what was so fun for me is that I was asked to sit on the selection committee. So I was on the selection committee, but I didn't, I didn't review Melanie's application. I let other people do it. And they still, um, I didn't have any influence, even though I, you know, kind of wished I did. I would have select her, selected her. But Malini, congratulations. You're going to um, you're going to get a lot of information tomorrow. And um, so act I'm surprised. <laughs> we really debated whether we should tell you or not. We're gonna tell her. <laughs> I mean, regardless, I'm very surprised and big, big, big shout out to Trisha for nominating me. I didn't know that she nominated me, but I didn't think it went anywhere. So big shout out to Trisha for taking the time to nominate me. And I'm, I'm very grateful, obviously, for everything Web has given me and the opportunity to give back in so many different ways and become the person I am today through Web. I, like, I can't say enough thank yous, especially to you, Trisha and Anna, for everything. Well, we're so proud of you. We're so proud of all of you all and um, for all the things that you've done um, to help us to um, further your, your own leadership um, and your own um, development. Um, we look forward to continuing to work with you as alumni um, as you continue your academic journey. We hope that you stay plugged in and connected and that you know you always have a home with WEP no matter where you are. So thank you all for, for all of that. I'm gonna turn it back over to, to Tricia. Yeah, so uh, again, congratulations to all of you. I shared in the chat the one of the documents that Malini created. And I, I think one of the, the reasons that, that we had nominated her for that outstanding student um, assistant award was that really the some of this work that we've done this past year is, is going to transform the way, or it is transforming the way that we're thinking about the work that we do and the way that we tell the story of the impact of WEP. And we created what's called a logic model for first year programming that connects all of the things that we've talked about. You all have been instrumental in, um, and I think many of you contributed to some of the data and the feedback that Melanie was working on that logic model. And it's helping us align our assessments, it's aligning our programs, and we're going to continue that through beyond uh, Malini's time with us into our second year programming and our leadership programming and all things. So um, those are the kinds of, of things that you all are contributing to and the impact that you're having just beyond maybe what your specific role is with WEP and within the Cockrell School or the university. Um, I just want to wrap up and say thank you again. I'm super proud of all of you for nominating yourselves, nominating each other, nominating your organizations, taking the time today to celebrate with each other, and recognize each other and the, the organizations. Um, I know I've, I've had this conversation with some of you all in the past, but I'm going to repeat it here for those who maybe have not heard it. You know, we, we need to take that time. We need to take the time to nominate people we get busy, we forget um, you know, to, to pay attention when awards are coming due, or we might see awards that are, are out there that we're like, gosh, you know, why did that person get it? I'm just as deserving. Well, sometimes you have to nominate yourself. Sometimes you have to go and ask someone, hey, will you nominate me for this award? Because it's not sometimes that you're not deserving, it's that people are busy and they forget to take that time. Um, don't ever hesitate to ask for recommendation letters from us, from others, from your peers. Don't ever hesitate to ask us to nominate you for things. We will. We will take the time to do that. We will get it done. So uh, again, I'm proud of you all for taking the time to do it for this. Um, and I encourage you to keep that up throughout your career because it's really important to get those recognitions and to make sure that you're recognizing others. We're just super thrilled to be able to recognize you. Thanks again, Isabella, for the push and the nudge to get it to happen. Um, it's super important and we need to remember that. Uh, and I'm glad we were able to at least get this done in a virtual way today. And, and we'll be back in person doing these kinds of things next year. <laughs>